LXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2021, Question 8. A scientist is studying the growth of two different populations of bacteria. The number of bacteria N in the first population is modelled by the equation N equals A e to the kt for t large manner equal to zero, where A and k are positive constants and t is the time in hours from the start of the study. Given that there were a thousand bacteria in this population at the start of the study, and it took exactly five hours from the start of the study for this population to double, we need to find a complete equation for the model. So we're told that n is equal to a e to the kt. We know that at the start of the study, so when t is equal to zero, there were a thousand bacteria. So let's put these into our equation. We get a thousand equals a e to the zero e to the zero is one, so a must equal a thousand. Putting this into what we've got, we can now use that n equals a thousand e to the kt, and we're going to use our second fact, which is that it took exactly five hours from the start of the study for this population to double. So it started with a thousand, it's going to end with two thousand on the fifth hour, so putting these in we get that two thousand equals a thousand e to the 5k, Dividing through, get e to the 5k equals 2. Now we could have jumped straight to this if you're feeling confident because it's the e to the kt that is multiplying the a. So for the population to double, that e part must be equal to 2. So you could jump straight to that, but this way is fine if you're feeling less confident. We've got e to the 5k equals 2, taking logs of both sides. 5k equals log natural 2, so k is equal to a fifth log natural 2. Putting this back in completes our equation. We've got that n equals a thousand times e to the power of a fifth log natural 2 times t. For part b, hence find the rate of increase in the number of bacteria in this population exactly eight hours from the start of the study, giving our answers to two significant figures. So one thing to note here is that it says hence, so we're going to use our answer to part a. So n equals 1000 e to the fifth log natural 2 times t. We want a rate of increase, so we're going to differentiate to get that rate of change. So dn by dt, if we're differentiating a function that's in e, the e part stays the same, but the multiple of t will come down to the front. So we end up with a fifth log natural 2 times by 1000 e to the fifth log natural 2 t, which simplifies to 200 log natural 2 at times e to the fifth log natural 2 t. We're looking at this eight hours from the start of the study, so let's put eight into the t. Putting this through the calculator gives us an answer of 420, the two significant figures. The number of bacteria m in the second population is modelled by the equation m equals 500 e to the 1.4 kt, again for t large when or equal to zero, where k has the value found in part a, and t is the time in hours from the start of the study. Given that t hours after the start of the study, the number of bacteria in the two different populations was the same, we need to find the value of t. So we've got m equals 500 e to the 1.4. We know what k is already, so we'll put that in. So that's a fifth log natural 2, all times by t which simplifies to 500e to the 0.28 times log natural 2 times by t. We know that at t hours, this has got to be the same as the population in the first group. So we're setting them equal to each other, 1000e to the fifth log natural 2 t is equal to 500e to the 0.28 log natural 2 t. We're going to do some cross division now. So dividing both sides by 500, and both sides by the e to the fifth log natural 2 t, we get that e to the 0.28 log natural 2 t all over e to the fifth log natural 2 t is equal to 1000 over 500. The left hand side is two powers of e, so by our rules of powers, that becomes e to the top power, the 0.28 log natural 2 t minus the bottom one, fifth log natural 2 t. And the right hand side, 1000 divided by 500 is 2. We can simplify that e because they're both multiples of log natural 2t in there. 
So 0 0.28 minus a fifth gives us 0 0.08. Taking log natural of both sides, 0 0.08 log natural 2 times by t equals log natural 2. Well, we can cancel out those log natural 2s because they're on both sides. So 0 0.08 t equals 1. Dividing by the 0 0.08 gives us that t is equal to 12.5. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.